many of those. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about, the spirit working, um, doing things. I mean, yeah, lots of anecdotal story, stories I could talk about, you know. The first that popped in my head was like Steve Quayle calling um, my brother out of the clear blue sky. I'd never met him before and said, God told me to um, publish your book or um, you'd be, I'd be doing something. And uh, I mean, this happens all the time. I'll have a question or I'll have a, some kind of problem that's on my heart, something weighing me down and I'll open the word or something and it'll be the answer. Uh, many times that, that has happened or I'll see something or hear something on a you know something that's not related at all to like uh, scripture will have that type of thing you know so I've never ever seen a UFO I've never had a, any encounter like that uh, ghost nothing like that in my life and I think there's a reason for that because it would just be faith increasing for me if I did it's so there, it, there's no effect you know that it would have on me other than beneficial at least to me you know everything so and i think that's why but no i haven't i just have not had any experience with the supernatural in, in that sense at all um you know god gives everybody certain gifts you know if, if you're going to have a ministry i think it's things that um god gives you that he the, the, the blessings he gives to you so what you're doing you enjoy you know god wouldn't give you a ministry that you would hate to do no he'd make He'd give it to you, and you'd enjoy doing it, and you'd be good at it, you know? And that's the type of sort of supernatural things that have happened to me, because I go to go to sleep at night with a question, and I wake up with the answer, you know? Maybe it's not the answer, but at least I believe it. 